After a quick squeeze at the Pont de Garde, we headed west to the Loire Valley for a three-day cycle with Craig and Jill. We started at Amboise and some great words of inspiration from Craig. The bike sheds. But today we're going to Chamont sur Loire, where the chateau was built by a couple of geezers. And it burnt down, you know, about 1100 or something or other. And then it was rebuilt by a couple of local dukes or what have you. Anne was so inspired, she wanted to do a quick load of washing before some more generous words of inspiration from our leader, Craig. And then it came, along came Louis XI, and he sort of improved it in the 15th century. And then uh, Henry II and married Catherine de Medici. De Medici. <laughs> These castles were so exciting, but not as exciting as the olives, the fromage, and the cold beer that awaited us on arrival in Amboise. Jill led us off with great inspiration on the second day. Go. Today is the second day of our bike tour and we're off to Chenonceau. Uh, Chenonceau was built by Henry II and housed Diane de Poitiers. Saddle soreness was clearly an issue for some. Here's me. Go. So just on the motivational side I just want to say that um, if you're feeling tired and feeling like you can't go another inch just sit down, perhaps a few tears, <laughs> just let it all hang out and maybe a lie down and then up, coffee and uh, give it a, perhaps a croissant, croissant. <laughs> pan au chocolat, <laughs> and let's, let's get into the um, baguettes today as well to keep our energy levels up. And Imagine how much it costs to maintain that. After three days hard slog and 180 kilometres travelled, we arrived at Blois, while Craig and Jill headed off to Italy, we headed for further adventure and challenges on the Ardèche River Gorge with Danny and Marty and Jackie and Mike. Whereas we'd had to contend with the Loch Ness Monster, Marty had to contend with an angry bee, for which he needed help from our resident LB Mangles. Here's Jackie and Mike. beer in town I reckon and, uh, and then of course we do our little ritual first thing in the morning getting our baguettes in the same place so you've got everything there that you can look for. And, uh, that's just paradise with all the uh, vineyards uh, and the old medieval buildings uh, quite spectacular um, and we've had a great time and we're going to miss the place. Yeah, it's been lovely because uh, we've enjoyed all the village life, but then we've got out and about as well. So we've been down to the river, we've gone to the pond, we've seen some of the, the cultural features, caught up with some lovely friends, Anne and Elaine, which was fantastic. People we haven't met, but we know very well through Anne and John and, and our brother-in-law. So um, we're very sad to go, but we're off to Ireland next. We both haven't been to Ireland and Mike's uh, going to discover the roots of the Bray family. And, uh, to sink a few Guinnesses and to college and go up to the west coast and then off to Thailand and uh, put our feet up down at Phuket and out on an eco resort. So sad to go and thanks so much to John and Anne for looking after us so well. But there's some nice things ahead as well. So I 
Beauvoir. Our French isn't too good. John and Anne are too good. They speak very well, so we relied on them. But uh, Beauvoir and Merci. I have been told that there are a thousand, thousand hotels in Dublin, and uh, I'm going to give a run for their money <laughs> in the next few days. Thanks, John and Anne. Au revoir. Au revoir. Hello, Australia. <laughs>